Why do I look ratchet right now? Instagram um, if you wanted to see an Etsy haul or a book review because I only have time to film one of those one video today so I asked you guys what you would rather see and you said Etsy haul I think um, there were like twice as many votes for the Etsy hauls or were the book reviews so I was like okay <laughs> Etsy is a good place to go if you don't want to spend a ton of money um, on gothic jewelry really this this jewelry is handmade. I like to shop for my jewelry on Etsy. That's where I get most of my stuff, if not Hot Topic, from uh, Blackheart. What did I say, Blackheart? I meant Blackheart. I'm having trouble speaking, apparently. The two stores that I bought from were the Crypto Curiosities, which I'm sure all of you know about already. They're one of, it's my favorite, by far my favorite gothic jewelry Etsy store. They're She's amazing. Claire's amazing. I bought a few things from the Crypto Curiosities. I also bought some things from um, a midnight a midnight dreary gothic jewelry um, on Etsy. I will link both of these stores down below, of course. But I discovered a midnight dreary on Instagram kind of recently. I'd say a couple months ago or so. So I'll start with the things that I got from the Crypto Curiosities um, since we're all, I assume, pretty familiar with it. They're pretty well known um, compared to a Midnight Dreary. So I'll start with that and then I will end with a min Midnight I can't talk. So I got two pairs of earrings and two necklaces from the Crypt of Curiosities. To be honest, I kind of wanted to just buy everything. Okay, so this is pair one. If you can see but yeah they're um very victorian-esque the backing um behind the onk is um oh, i don't i don't know what you would call it it's a kind of fabric um but yeah i saw these and i love them and they have a black gem at the top as well there i got them because of the onk and because they're very victorian-esque and anything victorian i love okay I suppose I should mention prices, but to be honest, I don't remember how much these were. She was having, it was a sale, that's what it was. I think it was a birthday sale or something. And it was like, what was it? 20, I'm sorry for the lighting, 20-ish or something percent off, I don't know. I went in and grabbed everything I could. Okay, this is the second pair. Just simple acrylic um, coffins with a cross cut through. I really like these because they're simple, but they're also still goth, I guess. <laughs> because of the implications of death, I really like these. They're simple and lightweight, okay? Acrylic is pretty lightweight, um, and so that's why I like these. Another reason to like these. Okay, next I got this bat necklace here. Hang on, let me just move it. Oh, okay. <gasps> next I got this bat necklace. Um, it has a little low right there. Um, I'll just hold it. I really like this. I saw it and I really like the bat and how it dripped down to this gem right here. Sorry for the dog who's whining in the background. <laughs> um, I really like that. Isn't, isn't he just like cute? It's like, it's cute, but it's also elegant because of this, I don't know, it's like a dripping effect, kind of. And I like that. Okay, last but not least is this necklace, this bat cameo necklace. Um, I really like it here. Let me just, let me just pull this up again. Um, this is one of those ones that's simple but elegant and beautiful. I like it so much. Um, I'll do a close-up of it so you can see the bat um, better. The bat is also really nice. Perfect. 
her with a spooky. Okay, so moving on to a midnight jewelry, I got one pair of earrings, one choker, and a ring. And these are the earrings that I got. They make me think of um, bleeding trees or dying branches in winter, you know? They are on the heavy side, so if your ears can't handle um, too much weight, then I wouldn't recommend these, but they are beautiful. Okay, so here is the choker. <clears throat> it's made out of a velvet ribbon. It's more on the cutesy Halloween side, as you can see. It is also kind of creepy, of course, and spooky, which is why I got it. <laughs> like, I need a spooky Halloween choker in my life. One that is not Victorian, because <laughs> that's pretty much all I have. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it feels like they're made out of a kind of metal or maybe aluminum um, or a cheap metal, but I like it. I also like how the body of the spider is shaped like a skull. <laughs> I dig it. And then this is the ring. It's just a cute bat. I'm not really a ring person. I mean, these two rings are the only ones that I always wear because, well, this one I just, didn't ever, I just never took off. And then this one is my class ring, so. This is my left hand, by the way, <laughs> just so we're clear. Um, but yeah, I got it just because it was a cute bat. And I'm like, I don't have a bat ring, so I should get a bat ring. Not that I need one, but I would very much like to have one, so yes. That is it for this super quick uh, 
handmade gothic jewelry from Etsy haul. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, I will link both stores down below. So if you want to get any of this, if it's still available, hopefully, um, then yeah, you can just go ahead and click on those. I hope you guys enjoyed and I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye.